Are you ready for all the fun fish can provide? Before making your purchase, let's run through some of the more important information you should know. Just like us, fish need a safe place to live. And like us, building a home requires certain things. A tank, a hood with a light, a filter, a heater, a thermometer, gravel, and decorations. Because there are so many choices when it comes to these products, consulting a qualified pet supermarket associate will make this task easier. In addition, things like a net, fish food, water conditioner, some cleaning tools, a biological starter, and a water test kit are all considered necessities. Pet Supermarket has aquarium kits ready for purchase to help get started. For the beginning fish enthusiast, having a tank of at least 10 gallons would be a good choice. Although a smaller tank might seem to be a better option, the extra water a 10 gallon tank holds actually creates a better habitat and makes keeping the water healthy much simpler. Another rule to keep in mind before deciding on an aquarium is not to overcrowd your tank with fish. A well-maintained tank should hold about 1 inch of fish per gallon size. A 10 gallon tank should hold about 10 total inches of fish when they are full grown. This ensures there is plenty of room for the fish to swim. Setting up your fish tank is easiest if this procedure is followed. First, make sure to rinse both the tank and all aquarium accessories with water to remove any dirt or dust. Use only water and never use detergents or chemicals to clean your aquarium. Put the gravel in a strainer and run water through it until the water runs out clear. Now it's time to get to work. Put your empty tank in the place where you wish it to be. If using a stand, make sure it is strong enough to hold the weight of a full aquarium. A 10 gallon tank, for example, will weigh over 70 pounds when full. Hang your filter, heater, and a thermometer. Regardless of what climate you live in, fish need a constant water temperature. Having a water heater makes this possible. Very important, don't plug anything in yet. Add your rinse gravel and any plants, rocks, or accessories you want in your tank. Now is the time to add your water conditioner to get rid of any chemicals in your tap water and the biological starter to introduce good bacteria. Cover the tank with the light hood and plug everything in. Let the tank run for a day or two and make sure the heater is set at about 76 to 78 degrees. Check your thermometer. Soon it'll be time to add the fish. Now it's time to add a few fish to the tank. With the 10 gallon tank, adding two to three fish in the beginning is a good start. Ask your pet supermarket associate for help in choosing the correct fish for this job. When you bring your new fish home, let the bag float unopened in the tank for about 30 minutes. This is done so that the temperature of the water in the bag is the same temperature as the water in your tank. After 30 minutes, carefully pour the fish through a net over a pail or bucket and gently place them in your tank. Don't add the water from the bag you brought the fish home in to your tank. Frequent checks of your aquarium water ensure the water is healthy. A water test kit is vital for this job. While the water test kit will have more specific directions, a basic understanding now will help when purchasing a kit. Most mixed community fish like a neutral pH. It is also important to check for dangerous conditions like ammonia and nitrites. Once you have a healthy established aquarium, these dangerous conditions are kept under control by good bacteria that grows in your tank. Checking the water once a week makes sure that the water is healthy. If after testing the water something isn't right, take a water sample to pet supermarket and an associate will be able to help you fix your problem. Remember, healthy water equals happy, healthy fish.
After the fish tank has been set up for a while and you have good bacteria controlling any dangerous conditions, the water is healthy and it's time to start adding more fish. Not all fish get along with other fish. When choosing fish for the tank, make sure there won't be any problems when they're brought home. Be sure to tell the person helping you at Pet Supermarket what fish you already have in your tank so they can suggest other fish that'll get along with yours. Don't add too many fish to the tank at once, just a couple at a time. Creating a fish tank takes patience, but if all the steps are followed, soon you'll have an aquarium to be proud of. Overfeeding fish is one of the biggest dangers when owning an aquarium. Feed the fish only what they'll eat in 2-3 to three minutes twice a day. Start by feeding tiny amounts and watch your fish eat. As soon as any food is left over on the bottom of the tank and the fish stop eating it, you'll get an idea of how much they will eat when you feed them. Extra, uneaten food will decay and create unhealthy and cloudy water. Fish look wildly different, but once you get to know your particular pets, you'll know if something doesn't look quite right. If you're worried, take a picture into your local pet supermarket and explain their problem. They'll be able to help. Now since the fish tank is healthy, it's time to keep it that way. A fish tank needs partial water changes every two to four weeks to keep everything balanced. One of the cleaning tools you should have is a gravel vacuum to clean dirt out of your gravel and take some water out of your tank at the same time. Remove about 25% of the water from the tank. Now it's a great time to scrub the inside of the tank with the algae sponge or rearrange any decorations. When finished, add the same amount of water you removed to a bucket. Be sure it is a bucket you only use for your aquarium that has never had household chemicals or detergents in it. Treat the water you're replacing with water conditioner and add it back to the tank. Frequent water changes are an important step in maintaining the tank. Keeping your fish tank healthy is a great way to keep your fish healthy. Be sure to continue with the water changes, check the water often, change out the filter, and keep the algae from accumulating in your tank. Your new pets thank you for it.